head down. Since the beginning of TV and film, animals have stolen our hearts on the big screen, but none of this would be possible without the help of their dedicated trainers. I love animals. I couldn't imagine doing a job every day that didn't involve animals. How did you get started as an animal trainer? I started as an animal trainer in Florida at a marine life park. I had friends there that did studio work in Los Angeles, and I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. So <laughs> I packed up and moved to LA and then started working for a company there that trained animals for, for film and TV. Just walk in a circle and then come back here. Go with. What's the process of training an animal for production? So you have to start with all their basic obedience, which you then build on to put distance and hand signals. So there's no verbal cues. Obviously, when you're filming, you have to do everything silently. So excited to be on a couch He's that he so just excited. can't contain himself. <laughs> I think the biggest mistake with people when they get a dog is they think they don't have to do anything. I have to do little training sessions with them every day and just a 20 minute session with your dog, making it work and use its brain is more exhausting than taking your dog to the dog park for an hour and throwing a ball. It also builds the relationship between you and your dog. No, get back on your mark. Here. So being behind the camera Here. as a trainer and getting the dog to look at the camera for a print oh. shoot. And also my love of photography, I always take cameras with me wherever I go. It just seemed like a natural progression to want to do pet photography. It's a lot of fun to work with them and I really enjoy doing it and it's huge to have a pet in your life. I couldn't imagine not having dogs in my life. <laughs>